Okay. We are back in Life is Strange True Colors. Almost fucked that up again. Uh, I did kill a multitude of flies uh, in between episodes. I let them die with an electric fly swatter, like in that TikTok I showed you. Um, and I hope that was it. I hope I managed to kill that fly that was annoying me, but knowing my luck, I probably didn't. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on, shall we? Let's take a look at this bike. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. And now he has one. Or technically, it should be our property now, right? Because he offered this uh, place all for us, all for ourselves, because he's living with Charlotte and Ethan. Just saying. We have a sword made from wood, I think. It definitely doesn't look like a real one. Or if it is one, it's a very rusty one. Is that a sword? And even though I'm tired, I'm a bit pumped, energetic, you know what I mean? So... Let me center myself again, like in episode one. Take things a bit slower. <laughs> and we have a correct turntable. We didn't even get to finish the song. All good things always have to come to an end, I'm afraid, right? Especially when you least expect them to I'll end. have to. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Dino Racer 2. Corythosaurus cup? Okay, with two exclamation points. Not too familiar with um, the different breeds of dinosaurs, right? I wasn't around when they were roaming the earth, although you might think that, but no, I wasn't. And uh, yeah, that's a very kid-friendly game. Let's put it like that. Yeah, for general audiences. Interesting that they don't use the ESRB system in this game. <laughs> or Peggy, or USK, or whatever. I think those are movies down there, but yeah, no, I can't make anything out. We have a photo. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Mm. So much for living in tune with nature, right? But yeah, that's a deer, all right. And we have another photo that we can't take a look at for some reason, I think. But it's with Steph, it seems. Gabe and Steph. And some booze for the foosball champion. I'm very interested uh, in the fact that you can't take a uh, take an actual look at that, because usually you can in Life is Strange. But oh my god, I love the view. Reminds me of Willow Creek from The Sims Four. <laughs> um, no, but I really love it. Everything's blossoming, all the flowers and the colors are so vivid. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, and I can't wait to say, I, I can't wait to see Haven Springs uh, during the other seasons, which we will see in the Life is Strange Wavelengths DLC, releasing September 30th. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Yeah, seems like he is. But at least that means that he's really interested in their life, right? Their lives. Plural. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. The Spacious Embrace. Responsibly parenting your independent child. Annabelle Leitman. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what language that is. Uh, is that... Um, um, oh my god. Um, not Thai. Uh... Vietnamese. Is that Vietnamese? Like Nguyen? You know, like Nguyen, Nguyen? But I don't. I wouldn't know how to pronounce that. I think this would be two syllables, right? Na Wong? I don't know. I, I probably butchered this. I'm sorry, but um, yeah. Uh, AP, she, at least she has a PhD, right? And um, chapter four uh, is the most important. Let's discuss, let's discuss it over wine. I love you. See. And my capture card is gone again. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. After some troubleshooting, let's back out of this. So yeah, they are uh, discussing parenting techniques, as they should be, I think. <laughs> huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. Son of Let Idol Comics. Aha, uh -huh. issue number two. For $2.50, in case you were curious. But I think we've seen that one in the record store, actually, now that I think about it. 
Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. Mm -hmm. I could never make something so personal. Could never make something so beautiful, is what I would say, because I sure as hell wouldn't be able to carve this out of wood. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't be able to do that, not gonna lie. We have medals over here. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Rubber Duck Duck. <laughs> uh, Haven Springs Cycle Tour 2016, second place 2017, Haven Springs Rubber Duck Derby. Aha. Uh -huh. And, well, second place as well. What else do we have? We have a photo right here. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Mm hmm. A puzzle that's missing just a single piece, as is always the case, right? <laughs> but the cute bears climbing the tree. <laughs> um, we have another photo. Whoa, looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. But it's gonna be more and more difficult to do so in the future, I think. Uh, but yeah, they were uh, busy during the Haven cleanup, as you can see. Always keep the environment clean, kids. Don't blame the weed, exactly. And we have a magnet. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Haven Springs, number one choice for indie rock. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Interesting the groceries that he has on the shelf, right? <laughs> oh, what's the sticker? Say? What does that sticker say? It says Sonic Asylum. Aha. We have a drawer. Wait, no, 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 no. Drawer. Oh. Alex. Do I want to know? Do we want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oregon Department of Human Services, Child Welfare Offices. Multnomah County, wherever that is. <laughs> Loretta Vance, Program Manager, Child Welfare. Uh, try Program Director Amy at her number and unable to release location. Alex placed out Alex placed at group home in Portland area. Sunnyside Valley House, Everett Street, Child Services, Helping Hands group home. Okay, so he figured that out. Uh huh, interesting. Also interesting, I'm not sure about the second one, I but I think the second one. Every Life is Strange protagonist is from Oregon, right? And they all have supernatural powers, so that's interesting. Just saying. Uh, yeah, okay, so we read that. Turn the next page. Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. To Gabe Chen from Anita Morales. Subject. Reply. Looking for my sister. Received uh, November 24th, 2018. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you are doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system, and we don't know where she lives now. Here is the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Oregon Child Protective Services, yada yada. Line only available third Wednesday of month. Try you. Oh, that's his uh, personal note, of course. Um, line only available third Wednesday of month. Try Human Services, Child Welfare. We wish you. We wish you luck in finding her. Best. The Moralesis. 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 Right. Wow, Gabe's been looking for oh. me for a while. Oh damn. Okay. Uh, so, all the Chens that lived in Portland in 2018. She's not in the phone book, which she established. We have uh, several Alexes. Uh, we have an Andrew, we have an Alyssa, we have an Aine. <laughs> that one Alex is a dude. The other Alex has an automated voicemail follow-up. Oh yeah, and he got through and it wasn't her. And the final Alex has, a, it was an old number, now some dude named Adam. Adam Chen, that would also be interesting, right? And Alexandra Chen, no. Also, not the Alex he was looking for. 
Hold an aura icon. Yeah, okay. So we can also read auras of objects. We figured that much out when we saw that aura. We're going to do that in a bit. Of course, we're going to look at the letter first from Riley. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Men. <laughs> Colorado Institute of Technology. That name again? Miss Leith? <laughs> I think Leith, right? It should be Leith. We even heard that name in the first episode, but I already forgot. Again, me and names. Uh, your, app your application for CITs, Colorado Institute of Technologies, uh, 2019 Summer Programming Launchpad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. And then a note from Riley. Gabe! Ah! It's happening! Please, please, please help me prep! Riley. Okay, let's take a look at the aura. Oh. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? Me, a high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. In case you couldn't tell, I don't like Gabe, and, uh, uh, sorry, no, 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 I like Gabe, I, I don't like Mac is what I meant to say, and, um, I'm pretty sure most of you feel the same way. And, aha, uh -huh, I think that, uh, those letters, though, well, it doesn't have to be letters, right, but those memories are the optional thing, the big optional thing you can find in True Colors. You know, in the first game it was, uh, taking Polaroid photos of several animals, objects, people in the right moment. In Life is Strange 2, you could be drawing certain scenes. Oh, what was it in Before the Storm? Oh, I forgot. No, really, I forgot. I'm sorry, Chloe, but uh, uh, yeah, y you know the drill um, if you uh, know previous Life is Strange games. So, yeah, those memories, I was wondering about what that would be in True Colors, and it seems like those memories are what that is in True Colors, the optional thing we can find. The big optional thing we can find. Oh, and we can finally interact with the dresser to customize Alex's outfit. This is where my pre-order and deluxe edition outfits come into play. No After way. Gabe has this photo too? Look, look at, at our this parents. Photo. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. <laughs> I would say good old days, but uh, considering she said... He is only kind of an asshole, and their mom probably eventually got sick and I guess died. Uh, probably not so much of good days back then. Uh, let's get dressed. Ah. Um. Ooh, I like this one. Kitty. I also like that one. And, well, Chloe's shirt, right? Shouldn't I... Shouldn't there be more? I'm pretty sure I bought more outfits that came with my deluxe edition. Where is Daniel's... Um, no, not Daniel's. Where, where is Sean's shirt from Life is Strange 2? Where is the Jane Doe shirt that I'm wearing? Rip off. I might have to look into that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with either the cat or the rainbow. I think I'm gonna go with the cat. Am I gonna go with... No, I'm gonna go with the rainbow so that Steph gets the message, right? Okay. <laughs> so, we're supposed to do something with our back. But, of course, before we do that... I know wall. I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. I have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> Ooh. 
Was that about their dad? It was Chen, right? I I, I um, was um, distracted by the uh, Xbox achievement pop-up and uh, I obviously I couldn't even read it because the achievement was uh, obstructing everything. Greetings from Mexico. Oh, a postcard from Sean. <laughs> Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe Chen, 11 Main Street, Floor 2, Haven Springs, Colorado, USA. Uh -huh. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the, de at the detention center. Sure, you told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Love, Len. Greetings from Mexico. You know what? Oh, wrong button. I I want to take a look at this again. Oh, so we so we do so we are able to read up on this. Okay, so you you know what's coming up, right? So Gabe, crack chapter one. He'd been in town for a week, and all his free time went into finding Dad. Yeah, okay, so I was right. It was useless, of course. Dad had disappeared from here years before, moved on to some new town, some new job. Gabe called county... Uh, called... country? It should be county, right? County clerk? Uh, following up on a rumor, and for just a second, it must have seemed like he'd finally cracked the case. Our records do show that a Mr. John Chen was briefly a resident of Haven Springs, Colorado. But then... It's such, a shitty, it's such a shitty feeling, realizing that you've exhausted all your options, that there's no more gas in the tank. At first, all you can do if is... Very weird typo. I wonder if that's a typo from the, uh, from the developers or if that, uh, that's actually what uh, Alex wrote here. Uh, all you can do is, not it, lose your shit, try to put your foot through the wall, scream at the stars and hope to cause an avalanche. But eventually, when you're all out of anger, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself who you'll be after all of this. And Gabe didn't have an answer. Not yet. Riley. Mac. Riley Letter, Chapter 1. I could do without Mac's furious insecurities banging around in my skull, to be honest. It's such an urgent feeling, a rope around his neck pulling him forward, compelling him, urging him to find something other than himself to direct his fury toward. Every morning, this guy wakes up with the sinking, inarguable certainty that today will be the day Riley comes to her senses, realizes how much better and smarter she is than him, and the court. And cut the court. Cut the court. So it's almost a relief when he finds some external target to project his self-hatred onto. Riley's goofy bartender buddy, the one who's helping her follow her dreams of leaving Haven Springs behind. He tells himself a story, turns Gabe into the villain, and for at least as long as it takes to blow up in his face... He can distract himself from feeling worthless. I wish I didn't relate so fucking hard. Okay, so yeah, Gabe was looking for dad. Ah, some artwork with the word sombrero. Don't know what that's about. We have a board game. Oopsies. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. How about a rematch, huh? Oh, poster. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Haven Springs, Colorado, Sesquicentennial Celebration, what? Uh, 1867 to 2017, 150 years of community. Saturday, June 21st, all events free and open to the public. Town Hall, we have a silent auction, we have an antique fire engine demo, we have a mining lecture, I wonder who's holding that. Uh, and then at the Black Lantern Bar, uh, we have a brunch buffet, we have an ice cream social, we have live music, and the Heritage Park. Uh, family games and crafts. Probably something else that we can read because there's a photo uh, obstructing our view. And the photo says, To my fantastic waitstaff, you've done Haven proud with your hard work and positive attitude. We made it. Jet. Yeah, he fits right in. A Minehorn minigame. An arcade ca uh, cabinet. Okay. Okay. How did he get this up here? Uh, I don't know. Let's play it. 
Gabe, Ethan... I don't know who SPH is. Is that Steph? I don't know. Okay, so, um, yeah, we pretty much move up and down with the stick and left and right with the D-pad and we jump with A. Climb up or drop down a ladder, avoid ghosts and minecarts, power up with the battery and collect all... Gold nuggets? I don't know. And extra points for faster level completion, okay. Yeah, I don't know who, Ste uh, who that is, I'm assuming that's Steph. Um, yeah, anyway, let's start. Where am I? Ah. In a way, this reminds me of Donkey Kong, not gonna lie. Only thing- oh. Only thing is, it controls better than Donkey Kong, not gonna lie. Okay, we can't go up that way. Come here. I'm here. Thank you. No! Okay, uh, you're, well, now I know. Yeah, of course, we have to go over here from this side. And holy shit, those ghosts are really um, becoming a threat, right? Oh. I'm assuming this will allow us to blast away the ghosts? Yes. Okay, let's take the elevator. <laughs> We're seeing a lot more side stuff in this game, right? Than, like, actual story content. But it is what it is. This is also nice, not gonna lie. Power up. Oh yeah, come here, come here, come here. Aha! No, actually, it really reminds me of Donkey Kong. And I'm sure... We're gonna have to... Okay, now we have minecarts. Ah! Ah! Um, what I was about to say, I'm sure we're gonna have to crack the high score to... Ah! Crack the high score to get an achievement. So it would be nice if we were able to do so, but uh, we'll see, right? Let's wait for the... Yeah, exactly. Now I know how it goes. Let's go here, and let's go here. Ah, almost didn't make that. Oh, sure, he can do that. Yeah, sure, he can do that. Of course he can. Let me go down. Oh, okay, oh, this works. That's great that this works. Let's go up. Aha, next stage. I wanna crack the high score, not gonna lie. I wanna do this. Um, my camera's in the way. Just saying. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. Actually, that's very nice of you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh. Can I go up here now? Oh! oh no! Oh no 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 no! Okay, we don't take fall damage. I I I'm, 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 I I right now I don't. Yeah. I don't really know where to go because obviously I want to collect all of this, right? But I do have a feeling that we won't be able to collect those gold nuggets up there. Ah, uh, but we have to jump. No, I can't go there! Okay, I don't know- I really don't know how to get there, not gonna lie. Because <laughs> he can't reach the, uh, that high. Ah, now we're cooking with gas. But we do- what we rip- Kidding me? We have to collect those nuggets, okay. Um... In that case... I don't know what to do. I don't really like that the ghosts can take shortcuts. I really don't like that the ghosts can take shortcuts. All I want is the damn gold nugget. You, you gotta be shitting me. You know what? Fine, I don't wanna play anyway. Let's move on, right? Can't go upstairs, okay. I want a rematch. We will do this, uh, and we will get the achievement, I can tell you that much, but not right now. Let's open the back. <clears throat> sure.
Shoo shoo. Is that a plushie? Oh god. Shoo shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. A hamster. She's gotten me through some hard or times, but a chinchilla. I was hoping I we were done with that. You're never too old for a plushie, if it gives you comfort. We've seen things, haven't we, Shoo Shoo? <laughs> Unpack comic. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. The tunnel to the monster stronghold of Demonheim collapsed. Uh, collapsed? <laughs> I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? I'm just gonna go through the pages. If you wanna take a look at everything in detail, just pause the video. <laughs> the trail seems to end here. Unless... Knock, knock. Oh. Hollow. That wasn't hollow, but you get the idea. Uh... Aha, we must, he must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent, it must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent, but you may still be of use to me. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. That glow beyond the peak, that must be the stronghold's back gate. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Let's unpack ladders. Uh, yeah. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey, Alex. What's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay, and now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisors, the supervisors are racist, and... The supervisor is a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. Anyway, I hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you fucked her up? <laughs> Remember when you fucked her up? LOL. Miss your dumbass. XO Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting. It was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. I really wish those meds had worked. Abigail Lynn, medical doctor, patient name Alex Chen, date... <laughs> uh, Alprazolam, ER6 milligrams. Aha, uh -huh. whatever that is. Chelsea, the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear Alex, happy birthday! Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sun up to sun down. Real talk, though. I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy and even laughed when you were around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you. For being you. For being my friend. For the way you beat Harley's ass. For letting me wear all your clothes, even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. No. Okay, um... We still have to unpack the bag. The next thing would be a photo. But I think before we do that, uh, we're gonna end it here for today. To hit my time estimate head-on of almost 30 minutes. Uh, again, the coming episodes should be a bit shorter. I hope that's okay. It'll be better for me. It'll be better for both of us. For all of us, not for both of us. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.